Hello, Sats. Welcome back to your channel. It's Cecilia Tarot, and today we're going to pull some cards from the deck to see what's going on with your love life, okay? We're going to wonder, we're going to ask the angels what's going on with Sats, and hopefully we get some answers. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're new here, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up if it does resonate with you, all right? When you do like the videos, YouTube do see you liking it and push the video through a bigger audience and let the videos get some knowledge, some likes, you know what I'm saying? And then they let the channel grow, you guys, okay? So you're doing two jobs for me right here, liking the videos and letting that video be successful and then the channel could be successful as well. And we've been doing so well so far so thank you guys so much for all your love and support and if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have a link down in the description box for you with a playlist for sats um and hopefully if this one does not one of those videos there would resonate all right all right angels what's going on for sats please sat person what's going on for their person Angels, what's going on? That's... Okay, we have two cards that flipped. strong energy coming through the emperor somebody that's really wants to take charge of this relationship okay a very stubborn energy more mature i feel like an older energy it could be in the physical but it also could be that this person lived a lot of lives okay this person is just a wise person this person wants to make sure this relationship lasts make sure it's a stable relationship um, this person is very serious. This person is not a, um, anyone that wants to pay, play games at this present time. But I do see someone is not ready to invest in something. And there's a reason why. We're going to get into that. But we do have the Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to give this relationship a chance with a new beginning. But at this present time, this person is putting this in pause right now okay because there was a lot of heartache that was going on in the Ten of Swords. Um, someone is definitely still experiencing some heartache here and some um, mental pain, physical pain at this present time. Somebody didn't have somebody's back. Somebody betrayed someone here as well. But here comes someone with their feelings, though, uh, trying to talk, trying to let them know how they do feel about them. You see, this face in this. This person is just sick about themselves. And this person is just like, but I do still want to be with you kind of thing. Um, someone is very single at this present time and not really happy about the situation. They're not doing very well being single. They're not loving their single life. They're dealing with a lot of losses, especially with financial gain as well. Maybe this person was with you or you were with them and you guys really helped each other with the bills or whatever the case may be. And now that you guys are separated, you guys are having a very, uh, someone here is having a very hard time with this situation okay and then we do have the six of swords and we have the five of pentacles and the moon you know i feel like this person is going to move forward um either moving forward in this relationship or somebody's thinking about moving here moving away moving to another country somebody's thinking about taking this uh relationship to the next level for some of you or giving this relationship a next try but at the same time, I do see the, the five of pentacles, which someone was very betrayed here, you know? They think about being betrayed. They think about somebody lying to them, somebody using them at the same time, you know? Leaving them in debt for some of you. This person had to walk away from this connection, you know? I feel like... I feel like this is more about moving on by themselves, honestly. But someone here is telling me, look, I made a mistake. I made a mistake in the moon. What is going on? That's please. It's all over the place. Energies are just coming through. What's going on for Sats, please? Angels. Sats. 
Yeah, somebody decided to give this relationship a break because, and they're going to take a vacation or go away somewhere. Um, I see someone is going to probably jump back into this relationship or this connection, but this person is not going to fully trust anymore. Um, somebody's clearly trying to give somebody some um, love here or the Knight of Cups here, showing them that they do want a commitment or giving them a commitment, something more than they had. But this person is just like, wait a minute. Um, something is just not right here like it's not really going to happen okay there is going to be someone trying to give you this offer but at the same time this person is like yeah this person is going to reject me it's all about rejection this person somebody's going to walk away from this connection because they cannot take this anymore okay they cannot take this anymore they're like they need some time to think and the fools is in reverse. Somebody's going to move forward with caution with this person, you know? No trust here, all right? We have the Ten of Wands, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Someone taking up responsibilities here in the Eight of Pentacles, okay? I feel like in the Ten of Wands, you know, somebody is definitely carrying a burden here, carrying the whole relationship, carrying the burden of this relationship, uh, made decisions, and, you know, they're, like, regretting making all these decisions, these wrong decisions in this relationship. I also feel like somebody is feeling in Three of Wands, like they missed out on an opportunity with this person, like they want to be alone with this person and you know take this relationship to the next level and hopefully talk to each other and you know get back to where you guys were but at this present time somebody's thinking that you know i missed an opportunity i missed this up like i messed this relationship up i made this mistake i have the eight of the i'm sorry the knight of pentacles here and the king of wands and then we have the hangman someone is definitely waiting on the sideburns to see what time they could come in to try to fix this or if they can fix this. They're waiting for this storm to cool down. This person, instead of coming in and tell you they love you, they want to make sure that you know that, you know, you guys are great together. Like, ugh, before you end this, just know that we're great together, you know? We, we can build together, you know? You're the only person that I met that, you know, we fit together kind of situation. Instead of saying, oh, I'm sorry, you know, forgive me and apologize. They're just talking about all the finances and money that they can build together. What a boring person. And then we have the king of wands here. Somebody's very upset, selfish, you know, not even thinking about you at this present time. They're more in their, their mind. They're not even ready to give you this, um, you know, they're not ready because of rejection. Just say that. They want to, but at the same time, I mean, will it will it really last? They know that this won't last because of the fools being here. And, you know, they, they, even if they give you this offer, they're thinking like it won't last. It won't last for a very long time. So they're just waiting, waiting to see when, when they can pull up. <laughs> But anyway, so I'm going to leave it here. I hope it resonates. If it did, go ahead and like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on YouTube so YouTube can see that and you and push this video to a bigger audience and help this channel to grow. And if it did resonate, I will have a link in the description box for you guys. You guys can check that out if it did not resonate, all right? Love you guys. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.